Knockout is a game that teaches not only addition and subtraction, but also that the best solutions are usually produced when you take time to think through the problem. The object of Knockout is to score points by placing a marble on both sides of a number, which scores one point. The first player to score five points wins the game. Until you have your marble on both sides of a number, your opponent can take the other side of your number, which knocks you out of that spot. And what do the kids want to do more than anything but knock each other off the board? What you're going to like is that it teaches them critical thinking skills, or thinking outside the box. In this first of three levels, we're only using two numbers, 6 plus 4, which we're going to add together to make a total of 10. Now, I can use the 10 a couple of ways. I can place one marble on the 10, and that ends the turn, or I can break that 10 down into several different numbers, as long as when I add them back, I get a total of 10. For my youngest students, I might use just the face value of the dice, the 4 plus the 6. Either side of the circle does not matter. I cannot use 5 and 5 because I cannot use the same number twice in one turn. But there are several other ways to make a total of 10. 7 and 3, 8 and 2, 9 and 1, each of those equals 10 and each will give you two marbles on the board or two chances to score points. However, I could also make the number this way. 6 is actually the same thing as a 4 plus a 2 and 4 is really the same thing as 3 plus 1. So why not make the 10 by saying 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, giving me four chances to score points on my next turn. That's the critical thinking part of the game. Now say this was my move and you came back and rolled a 7. You might use the 7 by using only the place value of the dice, the face value of the dice, the 4 and the 3, which would knock me off the board two times. But you might also look at the 3 as a 2 plus a 1. And using that option, you've created 7 by saying 4 plus 2 plus 1, which knocks me off the board three times. And that, again, is the critical thinking part of the game. Now, you've left me open on the 3, so let's say on my next turn, I have rolled a 5 plus a 3 to make an 8. The first thing I would do is use this 3. This is now one point for me, and no one uses 3 the rest of the game. It stays on the board. Using the rest of my total, I have 5 remaining, and so I'll create my 5 by saying 4 plus 1 is 5 and knock you off the board two times. Now, this is the basic way that we play knockout, but if we're only using two dice, I would never roll any higher than 12. So level 1 is only 1 to 12, which is kind of a foundation level. When I want to play level 2 of the game, I have to bring in a third number. Add all three dice together and break that total down on the board, just like we did with the 10, the 7, and the 8. Level 2 is where most people stay because it's challenging enough for kids as well as for adults. But when you want to test your mental math a little more, you could go to level 3 of the game, which is a place value level. If, for example, I place the 6 in the 1's place and the 4 in the 10's place, I've made a 46. To that 46, I can add a 3, which gives me 49, and 49 is now the number to break down on the board, just like the 10, the 7, and the 8. As you can see, Knockout is a great game for learning not only adding and subtracting facts, but higher order thinking skills from kindergarten level to adults.